everybody. Uh, this is a redo of that uh, ball hammer video. Apparently I recorded it in the wrong format. That's why it wouldn't work on uh, YouTube. So I have to redo it. Which is no problem because there's a few things I don't mind changing. So, this lesson is kind of going to be like almost like a double lesson. Because I'm going to show you the basics of how to do that uh, two finger, or what the hell did I call it? Two finger claw hammer blues. But I'm going to also have to teach you how to do that. The technique behind it. Oh, I forgot my light. So, let's get right into it. So we are capoed on the first fret, putting us in the key V. We're still tuned DAD. So this basically is based off a few things. There was a about a month ago it was trending on YouTube that video of the guy playing a shovel guitar. I don't know if you guys saw it, Justin Johnson. Well, basically, he turned a shovel into a guitar, which was pretty cool. I have a plan on doing that now. But uh, I checked out his videos, and he uh, has quite a few videos. A lot of cigar box guitar stuff. And one of them, he was talking about Mississippi Hill Country Blues. We're all used to, like, the Delta Blues, which is based off 12-bar blues. The 157. basic what we kind of know right well for the most regular people mississippi country hill blues is mississippi hill country mississippi country hill oh either or is based off the whole song being in one key so you can look him up justin johnson and he'll explains it on his video but basically it's just you keep a steady beat and then you use a slide to play your other note. See, I don't even have that thumb, that, that rhythm down. But I, I was watching that, I'm like, oh, that, that's, I like that idea. Mind you, we don't technically follow that because we do change keys in the song. And then, uh, secondly, this is more based, the second thing is based off of is, is claw hammer. But it's not real claw hammer. Claw hammer, I don't play claw hammer, but I was looking around to try to see if I could find what this is. Uh, the best I came up with was uh, claw hammer and a combination of claw hammer and seeger picking. Seeger picking is up picking. We're kind of doing both, but we're kind of doing something that's not quite that either. Because Seeger picking, you're basically, your up picking is, you're just doing the, the drone string on a banjo. A anyways, if anyone knows what this is, tell me. Because I don't know. I know I didn't come up with it. I know it's been done before. So what we're doing is your thumb plays a constant beat on your bass string. So you hit that and then you strum down with the back of your fingers. And that doesn't change. But we're also playing melody at the same time and that's where your pointer finger comes in. And it's every time you hit your bass you're upping, up picking, up stroke with uh, your pointer finger on the melody line. Now that melody line can be either on the high, the high string or the middle string. You can, it goes back and forth. So basically, instead of just going like that, what you want to do is keep that melody finger going the whole time. So every time you hit down, you're also hitting up. So you're doing that every time. So 
So the thumb stays constant the whole time. The downstroke stays, stays constant the whole time. The pointer finger stays constant, but that's the melody line, so that this hand changes that. But everything else, it's the same. I hope that makes sense. And that's basically why I call it Two Finger Claw Hammer. So uh, that takes a while to keep that going. I've been doing this now for four days straight. And my arm is just killing me, I'm telling you. But it'll come and it will, you'll get used to it. I know I'll get used to it. But. Now, to get your melody in there, we're going to ignore... We're not doing a song yet. We're going to ignore the middle string. We're just going to play melody notes on on the high high D string. If anyone's curious, that's Thrift Shop by Macklemore. You want to get into that pattern where you can get both hands going at the same time, basically. So, the for the the, 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 the actual song video I did last video. Uh, there is melody on your second string and what I did in that video I've kind of changed it there's some of that some of that video some of the stuff I did in there I came up with on the fly on that video and I actually have changed a few things so basically the whole song you're doing that, that stroke that pattern the whole time that never changes your melody is on open on your middle on uh, you're playing on your third okay like I said before we're gonna go relative not relative from the capo we're not gonna call it from the capo we're gonna call it what what the nor the fret would call because then it's just easier but open will be cape ah this is confusing <laughs> so open is capoed so it's the first fret so if I say open you're you know it's the capo all the other frets I call out is relative to it being open so I just find I think that's easier the way it's fretted to do it that way so open on your middle third on your middle on your high string we got open we got three we got four and we got five so one two three four five six six notes it's all based on that and there is that key changes we'll get to that later so basic melody We'll do that first, basically. In a video, you'll see me going like that, but this is the same note. And because of the way we're playing it with that that claw hammer style, you're hitting that open note down here, so you have no need for that. I've taken that out when I do it. I don't use that note anymore. Because you got that. It's I just find that I don't use that note anymore. That's just a basic melody. Why 
once you get that, you can add that. So that, that's basically two parts right there. So it's, there's that, and then there's a second part where you add to it. Uh, and then, then you should do the key change before you go to the higher part. So to do that key change, you're gonna be using your thumb. Everything stays the same. Put your thumb down on your third fret, on the low. Up to your fourth fret, on the low. I've been playing this, like I said, for like four days straight, and I never played the same way twice. I'm just teaching you the few basic things, and then that I keep coming back to, and then just change it up, keep changing it, because it just, you can do it so many different ways. So after I do that key change, Just I'll do it slowly. It's, I'm not I'm not there enough yet to call it out as I play it. So I'll just do it nice and slowly. Oh, I screwed up. Hold on. Start over. Speed it up a little bit. So those are the basic parts. Now, like I said, those notes are constant. You can do anything you want with them. You can throw anything you want in there. Like you see in the video, I change it up. Like it's it's just so open to whatever you want to do. So, uh, let's just go, call it the intro, call it the, call this the intro. We'll call the verse, and then we'll call this. pre-chorus and then we'll call this the chorus 
So if you think of it along those lines, then you can kind of put them in that order. But you don't have to. I'm just saying that. You know, you can do anything you want with that. We'll just go through it that way. We'll go through it all the way once, nice and slow. So if you work around those four parts, in those four parts you can add anything you want. And then the whole sound comes, it's one of those things you have to build up your speed because that's where the whole, like if you go slow it's kind of like that dreidel, 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 which I actually figured out. Kind of. But you, you gotta get some speed to it to get away from that sound, right? So it's one of those like the song itself I'm, I'm so happy with how it came out but it's one of those things that once you get this picking pattern you can apply it like i've been i've i've gone through a few things so far uh that celtic jiggy thingy i did it works for that will be unbroken I think I switched into fly away at the end there which it also works for Once you get going with it too, I'm not there yet, but you can hear, you can get that extra rhythm in there, you can start hitting, right? One of those things that I plan on, uh, it's just a few other things. If you want to know Fly Away, Celtic, or Circle Be Unbroken, those are old videos. You can go back and we'll learn the melody and you can apply it to this and it works so well. I'm going gonna, gonna, I'm gonna to be experimenting a lot more with this. It's just, it's just, it gives you the whole rhythm section. That's the whole thing else I'm always trying to do on a Merlin is... Play the rhythm and the, and the strum at the same time, which I, I think I've succeeded with pretty well. But this doing it this way, like if you compare, it's a 
a little quieter because you're finger picking, but it, I think it just gives it another dimension. Like now you got bass, rhythm, and melody all as one. What more can you ask for? Don't even need anyone to play with anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. Uh, I was on my video again, or my back page today. I was wrong. Last time I said I needed uh, a couple hundred to uh, hit a hundred thousand views, total views. But it was actually, I think I needed like eight thousand. Now we are at a couple hundred views, so I'm happy about that. I know I'm not no Sir Ant. I'm not a million views yet, but I'll get there. Congratulations for that. Uh, my subscriber keeps going up the count. I'm so happy. You know what? Yeah, um, then I keep posting. We'll, uh, we'll try to stick through this once, one a week. Uh, the videos I did in the summertime, uh, the Manitoba Jams with my uncle. He's actually going to be out here this coming week, unless it's canceled, because it just won't stop snowing out here. It's just nuts. But, uh, hopefully we'll get some, uh, some more jam videos up. If he does make it out here. Uh, that being said, I got to practice some guitar, so I might put the Merlin down for a little bit because I haven't played guitar in quite a while. So I get 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 that going here for when he's out. So I'll probably I still plan on doing a video next one a week, so we'll still get something up for next week. But I don't know if it'll be as good as this one. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Uh, practice, patience, have fun.